Now we, we're going to get into the real, yeah, yeah. the real banger. It's the real deal here, right? We're banging? <laughs> no. Well, with, <laughs> with the equipment. I don't know about I got anything it. else that you're talking about, I but yeah. It. Welcome back, everyone, to the Hot Mix, an Instratech podcast. I'm Anthony. And I'm Maurice. And today we are going to be unboxing the Core Dry yes. Pro. Here we go. This is this is one I've been waiting for. I'm I, to, be honest, to be honest here, I've been, we're looking forward to yeah, yeah. kind of going through this thing. I mean, so. Let's get in there. All right, let's, let's do it. All right, here let's we go. This thing up here. Let's get that out of there. So we've got a little bit of uh, protection here for the Core Dry Pro. So let's get rid of that. All right. All right, we here we go. Make sure it gets to you safe and sound. You yes. Know, it's tough on those. All right, so Anthony and I are going to give it a go here and put it up on the table and this is what you'll get with the unit out of the box that's awesome let's yeah. get into it all right let's do it so the first thing that you'll be yep. looking at here is the you. lid so you got the lid right here okay if you've had a core dry in the past you know that this is what the lo lid looks like if you don't welcome to the core dry <laughs> lid all right the next thing you're going to get you're going to get actually two cables with this you're going to get the power cable okay and you're also going to get the auto rice connector cable Ooh, more cables yeah i kind of <laughs> you know i kind of like that. there yeah yeah lots of cables here i got you so there we go and then you're going to get the vacuum pump oil everybody right. knows that part number yep new screen protectors Ooh. so the new screen that we'll talk about in just a second comes with an actual protector and some replacements here that is great. and then you'll get tank filter pads don't leave your home without them perfect and the flash drive here that's going to have the calibration report and the manual on it. And then at the bottom, you are going to get your actual plate here. This is where the core will sit in the unit. Okay, gotcha. And it looks like you guys will get a lid for this side as oh, well. Oh, here it is right here. Yeah. Yeah. So you get your uh, pump, pump saver or pump your saver desiccant lid. lid, right? Desiccant lid. Dude, I love this thing already. So it's got yeah, everything you need. You get it out of the box, put it on the floor, on the uh bench top and it's it's pretty much hook it in hook it up and ready to go ready to go man let's do it so it's pretty much the core dry yeah and now we have the core dry pro tell me a little right. bit about what this thing uh, yeah. does so the the core dry the original core dry right. and the core dry pro their main function is to dry asphalt cores and the reason why we want to dry asphalt cores obviously in testing you know density is king and we're always trying to get Absolutely. back to that right oh, that so Perfect contractors, that's yeah, well said. Exactly, so that's where we're at. And and in the, in the past, the traditional method is fan drying or oven drying. Right. Now, not throwing any shade towards any traditional style of testing, but they typically are a little bit slower. And maybe a little lackluster. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe a little lackluster, yeah. I think that's a great word. And I think in some cases, they are, you're we're having to worry about the integrity of the core, yeah. especially in the ovens. In the oven, yeah, because you could leave those things there for uh, overnight. Yeah. Most, most contractors will leave them overnight. And the, the core dryer really replaces that procedure Absolutely. by throwing them in here. We're not using heat. Again, we're using more vacuum right. to dry the core, exactly. which is really interesting how this thing works. Yeah, that's exactly right. And so basically moving kind of into that, so you would put your lid on here. Okay. And you're going to kind of it just now that we have everything lined up, we can kind of talk about the features and the changes a little. Yeah. Bit okay. So. so let's get into the what the uh, I got the official spec sheet here for the unit. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, tell me a little bit about the design. What what did we do different with this one? So the first thing you'll notice is that we we changed the screen around. So now you have a full touch screen and it has actually swivel capabilities. Okay. And why that's nice is you could be doing something across the way over here, yeah. have your screen towards that way, and you can watch it while you're testing. The other sleek design change was, yeah. the, was the paint job, ice cream paint job on this, you know Ooh, what I'm saying? What does just that mean, ice cream paint job? Nice and clean, it's just sharp, nice well, and clean, fresh. <laughs> ice cream paint uh, yeah, yeah. sharp, I, got I, it. Ice cream paint job, you know, you look at it, you're like, man, that thing is, that thing Never is. Never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ice cream paint job, everybody. Yeah, it's very nice. I mean, you, when you when you see a car and it's nice, fresh out the wash, you're like, That's man, that cream. thing is nice. I'm gonna say that That thing time. is nice. That's my wife. That's the ice cream. Yeah, so so this also, you know, it looks a lot more flashy and it looks a lot more like it would be, but it's a lot more scratch resistant. It yeah. does, it, the other the other units um, they got they looked a lot dirtier a lot quicker. Yeah. We can kind of dive right into a, just a quick touch here if we want to turn it sideways. So yeah, I okay. This is another feature. Yeah, another, yeah, hold on, let me see which one is this one. Yeah. Okay. Yep, this is, uh, it looks like a new feature yeah. on this unit in particular, on the this, Core Drive this Pro, right? This is the Core Drive is this Pro. This is what makes it a Pro, right this here? Is, this is the, this this is the Pro is, part of it. the Pro move. All right, here we Here's go. Here's the Pro move. And I wanted to swivel that quick on you, so I don't want anybody to know that it was coming. So basically, you can now <laughs> utilize this as a rice test setup pump and desiccant system within your existing core drive. Now, this is a big deal, right? I, I want to act surprised, but obviously, I work here. We know that yeah, this is here, right? Yeah, you know it's coming. But this is a big deal because this now gives one more option to the lab tech, right? Mm -hmm. Gives one more thing that this already awesome machine can do in the lab. Everybody yeah. kind of has, has gone, gotten to know the core drive, but the Pro actually allows you to hook in your GMM, your rice test setup, yes. to use the pump 
and also the testing system. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we wanted to make sure that both labs that are using the tr more traditional rice test setups and labs, labs that have the auto rice can yeah. both utilize this system. Gotcha. And what that means is basically in the menus themselves, which we'll go over in just a second, you can click to just manually use the pump if you have a traditional setup. If you do have the auto rice, you can also click on the auto rice function to manually control, or to automatically control it. And if way. you don't know what the auto rice is, we did a great episode sure uh, probably last year. Dynamic Duo. Dynamic Duo, you can go and see what the auto rice is, what the, the, the setup is mm -hmm. without the Cordrai Pro, right. but now we're just kind of hooking that up, and we're gonna show that on the screen right now, yeah. kind of what that setup looks like, mm -hmm. and how how much uh, room it saves, yeah. because what? There wasn't a premium in the lab. Yeah, space. It's space, uh, always, space. right? Yeah. So yeah. this this just kind of consolidates everything. Yeah, it consolidates everything, and it, and it kind of makes our whole MO of having having more an efi more efficient testing and more repeatable testing. Now we, we're gonna get into the real, yeah, yeah. the real banger. It's the real deal here, right? We're banging? <laughs> no. Well, with, with the equipment, I don't know about I got anything it. else that you're talking about. I but yeah, uh, we're going to turn this thing on okay. and then really look at what's changed with the UX UI. Let's because go. I think that's one of the biggest things with yeah. the Core Drive Pro, right? It is. So we're going to flip it on here and it's going to yeah. kind of power up. It yeah. only takes a little bit to power on and get the screen going. So you would do this, what, at the beginning of the day? Yeah, I would do this. I, you typically want to do this at least five to 10 minutes before you go. I, I think because you, you're going to want the um, thermoelectric that's in the bottom of the pump saver to get a chance to heat up. Okay, gotcha. So a good tip there, if you, if you don't have one of these, just, yeah, flip it on, let it uh, kind of stabilize. It'll check everything. It'll go through its quality checks, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then we're ready, almost ready to use it. We're so let's talk about this awesome screen that we added. Yeah, so the, so the initial thing that you'll see here is it's basically uh, cooling down and, and getting the cool tra cold trap ready, which is the pump saver here. And then you can bypass this, but we recommend that you let it go the entire 60 seconds. But for the sake of this- Why would you ever want to bypass if, if you can- If you're if you're trying, if you have to get something in there quick, quick or, yeah. or okay. if, you, if you were just using the unit and you turned it off and you're like, oh man, I have one more to do, you can turn it back on and okay. just bypass it because you know it's ready to go. Perfect. But if you're using it, if you turn it on for the first time of the day, I would let it go the let full go. 60 gotcha. seconds. Okay, let's go. So let's go to the next screen here. The next screen is gonna give you two options. Number one, menu, and then the second option is start. So if you're just coming in here and you're ready to dry a core back, all you need to do is just be you know, focused on that start button yeah. and you would put your core right in there. And you wanna make sure that, you, that the airflow is right. So if you could, if you can put the core in there like this, yeah. so that the airflow can actually go through the core. Yeah, that's, that, that's a great tip and point for the core drive and core drive pro. You still wanna stand it up like a wheel, again, less surface area for mm -hmm. any water to get caught on while it's Absolutely. drying, right? Okay, yep. gotcha. So at this point, if you're ready to go, you would just hit the start button and start drying. So let's go ahead and let's hit do that. It. Yep. Oh, look at that. Look at that percentage so, to dry. Everything changes on the screen. What are we looking at now, Anthony? So basically what you're looking at now is you have on the left side, well, it gives you your whole program so that you know you're in program one, which is gonna be the, your core drive program. Okay. Um, you're getting your cycles, your total time, and then your pressure. You wanna make sure that it, that it pulls down to at least four millimeters mercury, which is MMHG on here. And that's what it'll do, and you'll probably go much lower than that. On the left-hand side here, you have a percentage to dry column. And that's brand new. It's huge. That is new, and I love it because, again, flip it over. Let me get do another test. What do I got? And then I can just look at it and yeah. see where am I at with drawing, right? Absolutely. Yep. So you got a lot of information, a lot of blinking lights I see down here. Absolutely. Kind of just checking how the system's running. Yep. Is that what that is? That's okay. exactly what it is. It's kind of just showing you right here that it's what cycle it's on so you know it'll be in your next bypass. And when it actually says 100% here, now you know you'll only have two cycles left. It gotcha. always runs an additional two cycles just to make sure. It's like when you get out of the shower, you just go that extra mile just to make sure you're fully dry. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to put a shirt on when your back's still wet. No. You know what I'm saying? That is the worst feeling ever. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Isn't it? Right? And that's the way you feel when you come pull it. You know what? They should invent a towel shirt. So they should. Oh, yeah. Like, like, like a little towel liner? Yeah, I like that. I like uh, that. Okay, so now we're going to stop this. Uh, stop it from running. Obviously, it's going to count down and what's going on with the system now. So basically, it's now basically depressurizing so that you can actually take the lid off again. So now you can pull the lid off and gotcha. you'll be able to pull your core out at this point. And again, the core should always come out cool to the touch. Yes. Never warms up. Again, not changing any characteristics of the core. Yes. Not damaging the core, just a dry core, right about room temperature. Absolutely. Awesome. Now the next, we are gonna go on to the actual menus where Wait, we there's can- there's more. Oh, okay. there is more. But there's more <laughs> behind door number two. So menu, now we have our auto rice option, which we talked about earlier, if you have the auto rice. Okay. This is where you would automatically control your auto rice or your rice test setup from the core dry. Okay. Now granted, if you do have an auto rice, you need to make sure that the auto rice is on and you hit start on that, as well as hitting auto rice on here. Okay. So that's, that's one thing. And then for the manual, if you have just the classic setup, you would just use the manual pump feature here. You would change your run pump time to 15 minutes as your 15 minute dwell time for the rice test. 
and then you would hit the start button and hit the start button on your timer. Now granted, the, the things that it will replace on your traditional rice setup are the pump and the desiccant system. You'll still need to keep your timer. Okay, so excellent. So we talked about the machine, what it does, the rice test, what else have we added to this uh, Cordry Pro? My ultimate favorite, which is on the next screen here, it is, going to, it is going to show you here in your settings tab, if you go all the way to, this, to the back here, you'll have a self-test feature, which will allow you to know exactly if there's ever anything wrong, you can self-check the entire test, the entire okay. system. So it uh, runs through everything. It'll tell you if there's something going on with the pump, it'll tell you if something's going on with the valve or as some sort of relay. But leading up to that, you're gonna wanna, you're, to alleviate all of those issues, you're gonna wanna make sure that you stay on this maintenance page. Okay, maintenance, so that's, yeah. that's an important part yeah. of the Cordrite Pro. It is. There is some maintenance you have to do every few weeks, maybe a free, every month, depending yeah. on usage, obviously. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about how to take care of the unit. Yeah, so basically the, the three things that you're gonna wanna change most often are gonna, most often it's gonna be the tank filter pads that we discussed earlier. And what, what are those do? So these are what keep the debris out of cycling through the pump and the whole system. Okay, perfect. So if you're doing- That makes tons of sense. I think you and I have talked about this. If you're running, a lot of cores, you're gonna to wanna to probably change this every, probably once a week or every two weeks. Yeah. Then the next is gonna be your actual oil. So the oil we recommend you kind of change. There's a sight glass in the back that you can look at and if it's nice and cream color in the back, you're good. If it starts to get dark, you're gonna to wanna to change it. Okay, but you also have the timer here that tells you, hey, when to change it. 100%. So all you have to do is come in here, look at it, or the machine will pop up a message let you know when to change Absolutely, it. and you get 80 hours. It, it'll tell you to change it after 80 hours. If you, that's so, a lot of cores. That's a lot of cores. That's good business. Yeah, I mean, 80 <laughs> hours, you can get if a lot If you're a lab guy and you've done 80 hours of drying, you're, you're doing all right. Absolutely, and then the exhaust filter is something that you'll change as well. That's a maintenance part. Um, but the main, the main point of all this is, after you change all these things and take care of it, you just hit one simple button to press it and reset, and it resets the whole timer, and it'll let you know when it fails, or when it goes down or needs yeah. to change it again. And again, if you're, not, if you're new to the Core Drive Pro, this is awesome, but if you have the old one, mm -hmm. and you know you know how you have to go into all these special menus, it's a very small screen, you can barely see it. With this unit, quick, easy, you can look at it, make sure your machine's running right every time, every yeah. morning, uh, so everything just seems a lot more accessible with this Core Drive Pro. 100%. That yeah. is awesome. I love it. One thing that we just need to focus on is if, if you have existing core drives or you have older core drives that you're looking to uh, replace, I think that you'll be really happy with it with the core drive. Yeah, and then just give us a call because yeah. we'd love to ha get you one of these and, and let you experience how easy, what the upgrades are. And I am hope you enjoyed uh, going through the system. And like I said, if you have any other questions, please let us know. And thank you so much as always for tuning in and listening to us. We really appreciate your time. We know everybody's busy out there, but just remember, keep it hot. <laughs> keep it real. Keep it real hot.